today's Giving Tuesday. Um, all encouraged to give time, to give what you can to different causes that are important to you. Giving Tuesday. I was thinking about, you know, what it is that, I mean, you contribute so much. You donate. You're very generous with your time and your thoughts. You've been very generous to my foundation over the years. And I love your I, foundation. I'm very excited. Um, you know, we put the media centers in children's hospitals. I'm very excited that we're going to have three more that will open next year. But, you know, I was reading about a woman, and I think this is really cool. She had a baby in the NICU. Uh, you call it, it's called the NICU, right? And she was there for months with her baby, and that's got to be just the most incredibly stressful, difficult thing for a parent. Yeah. And she opened, she took one of the spaces in the children's hospital and she opened a beauty bar. So a place where, because you just don't take care of yourself. It's a parent. No. You, I mean, of course, you're not even thinking about that. You might feel guilty to do it, certainly to go somewhere and do it. But if you're staying in the hospital day in and day out, you can go down there and get a, a shampoo or a, a scalp massage. It's always a really cool thing. Or a nice blowout. That's so thoughtful. Or a blowout. Yeah. Right? What is the thing about the blowouts? Everybody, this blowout thing. What's the significance of a blowout? I mean, it's like you just get your hair styled, and then you just don't have to wash it for a week, so you have, like, nice styled hair for a week. Tanya, do you blow your hair out? Is that how it works every morning? Because I feel like I you d- don't blow it out every day. I, don't. Okay. I do not blow my hair out every day. This is just, like, my own natural, but uh, I know a lot of people that do it. Tubsy Engineer, does your girlfriend blow her hair out? I'm not sure what that is. But I don't it, think she does. It's a hair dryer. Does she have long she hair? She uses a hair dryer. Okay, well, that's blowing well, it no, out. No, no, that's not blowing it out. That's like What's the getting, difference? Going, getting a blowout is like getting it professionally blown out. But can't like, you blow it out yourself? Yeah, it's like something different, I think. It's so just dry bar? drying it. Yeah. Dry bar is a blowout? <laughs> well, <laughs> she has a blow dryer. Blowout. I know that. But do, do you? I always get so bummed out when I hear that thing go on because I know it's going to be 20 minutes. <laughs> I'm yeah. serious. When I hear that fire up, that lawnmower fire up, I'm like, oh, boy. Got to uh, occupy my impatience for a little bit. Yeah, but mostly people get blots if they have like naturally curly hair. I always I I saw these dry bars everywhere, and I thought it was a bar. I mean, I now well, know you go in. They do serve alcohol. Oh, they is that the concept? Yes, yeah, so you like Got sit it. back, have some champagne, get your hair blown out. It is that time of year. I love seeing lights go up in our cities around Southern California. Have you decorated your apartment, your place, Tanya? Okay, so we were supposed to do it this weekend, but then I got sick and I couldn't really do much. Um, but we're having a debate because my entire, all my Christmas decorations are set up for like my apartment, but I'm never here. I'm never at my apartment. I basically live with my boyfriend. Okay. So keep going. So I'm going to decorate, gonna we're going to decorate my apartment, but it seems silly because I'm never here. Why can't you do a hybrid decoration at his house? Because everything's kind of like made to fit in an apartment. Do you know what oh, I mean? Like my tree fits. It's petite. And well, why doesn't like, he mice. give you a little corner of a room and you could do you could do Tanya's corner? Tanya's Christmas corner. Tanya's Christmas corner. Okay, we've occupied her for a week. <laughs> Wait, that's actually so cute. Why don't you do a little nook, right? Like it's a little destination at Robbie, yeah. your boyfriend's house. Yeah. And you make it Tanya's Christmas corner. And you guys do Christmassy things only or, in that corner. Or, or it could be a Christmas corner. Or, or you could do... Because yeah, he's Jewish. That. Yeah, so no, I know that. Like you could a do both. And a menorah. You could do you could do the menorah corner, the Christmas corner, or you could bring them all together. I think there's a lot of opportunity here, Tanya. I'm just saying you aren't going to spend. We know you're not going to be at your apartment, especially for the holidays. So don't kid yourself and waste time decorating there. You could do I a know. Hanukkah hideaway in the Christmas corner. Hanukkah hideaway in the. Christmas. <laughs> do y'all want me to come over and help? <laughs> yeah, you could be like our little elf. I am really, I'm really good at DIY decorating. I know, but you know when like you have all your stuff already set up, it's just so annoying to like. No, this is this is good. I, you should make a little destination. Okay. Kids are gonna love it. 